the spotlight on social infrastructure including healthcare and education especially healthcare is really really welcome it couldn't have come a day too soon on education there are a whole lot of initiative I, I i personally think that the national education the new national education policy is a is a very progressive document and this seeks to build on that that that's a very good one on physical and financial infrastructure i think there are a lot of very very high quality initiatives all, the, all of you have talked about it i won't go into too many details of that but i think uh, the broadly the investments in in infrastructure by and large and also segments that will that will propel growth for other sectors whether it is uh, whether it is roads real estate affordable housing uh, and some amount of initiative in in urban transport management etc all of those are going to be really really uh, significant what i am very excited about is <clears throat> the fact that the government remains very ambitious on its disinvestment uh, disinvestment agenda and they, that there is a there is a plan as nana was saying that this whole creation of the spv is probably a more structured more disciplined and accountable way of pushing that agenda what has come in the the budget this year is also a, an an attempt to monetize our uh, land banks and i think this is this is a really really strong and bold step usually these steps can get controversial but the government has clearly shown a commitment that it is not shying away from taking strategic bold decisions that are in the interest of the country i think it you know if it, it can be a very very good way of augmenting resources uh in terms of uh, i think there are in terms of ease of doing business and as devin was saying that trusting the taxpayers there are some very clear initiative the, the reduction in the period of dispute you know uh, uh, reduction in the period of uh, of uh, returns that can be opened from 6 years to 3 years is very very significant it's a really painful thing for an ordinary taxpayer to just maintain all the records and data for 6 years was was totally unrealistic uh in terms of uh, the the creation of this one code by by reconciling all multiple codes and putting it under one agency i think is again if we can get that started that's going to be a really powerful uh, force to in terms of doing things easily there is a clear recognition that we want capital from from overseas and those who are investing in critical sectors there is an attempt to 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 help them and to encourage their investments i think uh, many members have spoken about the the positive forces that the finance minister is seeking to unlock through uh, reit and invit and those are all those are all really very 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 good insurance going to 74% despite some of those caveats is a very welcome step and i think uh, privatization of two ps public sector banks and one insurance uh, company is again a very very uh, a very very good uh, initiative uh i think overall the focus on asset reconstruction and asset management is 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 a lot more thought through it seems in the budget and that should yield us better results uh the the attempt to push both digital and electronic payments and also use of digital technologies and digital uh, ways of working in terms of uh, conducting the business of government whether it is the electronic uh, appellate tribunal electronic uh, you know e courts etc those are really again very very uh, welcome moves i think uh, these are some of the some of the final points we will need to see more as you know we'll, there there is a lot of substance in the budget but we'll need to go through more detail in a more detailed manner that uh, but overall the big messages that i see in this budget is that government is very very focused on reviving the economy government is very focused on uh, very conscious of the pain that uh, entrepreneurs corporates businessmen and ordinary people have gone through and was sensitive to their need and make sure that no further liabilities were uh, came on them there was there were fears being expressed that there would be a covid test or something like that not you know 
not imposing any such tax is a is a very positive recognition